PS5 Pro um, Right, here we go. Here we go. Here's The Last of Us Part 2 running on PS5 Pro. Right. It has huge amounts of detail and targets a super smooth 60 frames per second. Okay. Let's compare this to the fidelity mode on PS5, which is only running at 30 frames per second and is therefore much choppier. Right, we want 60, right? This goal of delivering almost fidelity-like graphics at performance frame rates has been right. Chief, this goal of delivering is that him for um, aye, is that him? It's Garth. I uh, fidelity-like. Into world. Is that not Phil Spector? Graphics at performance frame rates has been achieved for a broad set of titles, including Marvel's Spider Man 2 and Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. We can see that PS5 Ratchet Pro is Clank. close to fuck doubling off, the power of PlayStation 5. Another way to compare the two consoles is to look at PS5 Pro versus performance mode on PS5. What a ridiculous. What is that? PS5 Pro versus performance mode. Fucking ridiculous fucking camera change there. Performance mode on PS5, both of which target 60. PS5 Pro versus performance mode on PS5, both of which target 60 frames per second. Obviously, what they've tried to do is what would they do is would they um, multiple camera angles so you can do like two or three takes so that if you kind of, you know, if you kind of stumble out your words or if you sort of hesitate or you breathe a bit and we want to edit that. If we didn't do a different camera angle, we'd have to do an old jump cut YouTube sort of style and we don't want that. We'll just simply cut to like a new angle and it'll look like we're just, it's just a new angle of you continually speaking and there hasn't been an edit. But it doesn't, it doesn't fucking work. They need, they need a merry an angle. What we see here is a difference in detail. PS5 Pro is much sharper and crisper than PS5. Right, 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 I see it. But how hard is it to have these uh, loaded in, these better? For this, PS5 Pro is much sharper and crisper than PS5. Um... Is it sharper and more? Is it? Difference in detail. PS5 Pro is much sharper and crisper than PS5. Much sharper and crisper. I I can see. I can see that that's kind of bloody there and that isn't it. But can you not sort that out? You know, without having to do this. Have you noticed though? I LOD distance sort of thing. Um. I know, I know that they can go like, oh, well, we, we can load in more detailed stuff in the distance than what we could before. But did you notice, what are they, what are they having to do? What are they doing here to, to show you? PS5 Pro is much sharper and crisper than PS5. What are they having to do to show you the difference? They're having to zoom in. They're having to actually point it out to you. And go, uh, you probably kind of notice the difference. Um, hold on, we'll, we'll point it out to you. So do you see it there? No. Right, hold on, we'll fucking zoom in. Now do you see it? 
All right, I good. So that's good for if you do want to, um, like what, go right up to the fucking telly screen. Go, hold on, let me just see. Oh, why wow, you could? That's see when you go right up to the telly and actually look at the pixels. It's really good. Anyway, I'm going to go back to where I was sitting, which was on the couch. A couple, you know, a few meters away from the telly. The main thing, as far as I'm concerned, is frame rate. That is noticeable right away. People can no give a fuck about the difference between that and that, providing they've got the frame rate. A lot of the times you don't even fucking, you don't even notice the, the detail and things. You're too busy, if you're running about, you're too busy sort of looking right in the middle or you're looking at whoever it is you're shooting or whatever you're interacting with. You're not, you're not even fucking looking at it. It's the people sitting next to you. That, that looks really good, that. But you're just looking at this one wee fucking spot. For this, my favourite is the parade scene from Ratchet and Clank. Distant details are much clearer. Like that there, like that. Nobody's gonna notice that. Snake oil, aye, it's. And here we can see Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is noticeably higher resolution throughout the scene, including the trees and procedural cars resolution throughout the scene, including the trees and proceed. I can see. I can see. It's got a kind of slightly blurry white here. Sharper. Car. I see it. Resolution throughout the scene, including the trees and procedural cars. Resolution throughout the scene, yeah. including the trees and procedural cars. It could also be odd good. The this is more like almost a depth of field, you could say. Shall, sets that shallow depth of field, it's a wee bit of focus like you would get in a film. So overall, some they can't sitting on the bed, the couch, whatever distance it is, they're away for the telly because that's what this is all about. Tellies, you know, sitting here like that, you know, like. There it is on the monitor right in front of you. You're sitting there, there. That's the whole point of the whole thing. Just, you're not going to notice that. Remarkable improvement to the games. On PS5 Pro, we can see... I wouldn't say it's remarkable. Increased sharpness to the graphics or smoother and more responsive gameplay. This is the big three showing their value. The big three. Larger GPU, advanced ray tracing, AI-driven upscaling. As you've been seeing... The eye, did you say? Oh, no, no. 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 No, 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 no. Machine learning via the PSSR. So this is stealing. This is stealing. So this is grabbing these images from artists, illustrators, and so on, online, and just going, you know what? Thank you. Thanks for providing that for us to learn for. We'll just have that for our game. Thank you. So they must be going like that. Um, we'd love to see you, uh, all your guys' artwork. You know, all you fans of Ratchet and Clank. Um, just post it here, you know, just so we can have a wee look. And, you know, show everybody. And they've got, you know, to the Discord or something. And then I'll be loading that in and then library is being used quite broadly to add pixel detail and boost frame rate. But there are as many approaches as there are game engines. The increase in raw GPU power is being especially effective for Horizon Forbidden West. Apart from the detail... Oh, boring as fuck game. I paid a fortune for it and then binned it. Detail boost, that extra graphics power is allowing for improvements to lighting and visual effects. as well as to the hair and the skin in cinematics. Open up, guys. 
Jorf's orders. Good enough for me. Nebte is denying. Ray tracing is finding broad usage as well. Nebte is denying that better graphics are better. But you hit a fucking limit. You can almost see it as a, a graph. You know, it sort of goes up on oh, nice and steep to begin with, and then just where these wee extra things, it really starts to fucking flatten it. Do you know what I mean? Particularly when the games are focused on higher frame rates. What I hear, mate? The hardware in PS5 Pro can make a real difference. Mate, what I hear? Allowing Gran Turismo 7 to add ray traced reflections between the cars in gameplay while continuing to support their targeted 60 frames per second. That boost in ray trace. Continuing to support. The Would I be right in saying that the more. See that motor on the left? Without ray tracing, it would still reflect that motor. Maybe it does, nay. I think it does. There is no chance they would have that motor next to that motor without ray tracing and go, should we reflect? I mean, you can still have things fucking reflect things in games. You, you see it all the time. They still don't look realistic. Um... It's just that that is kind of like based in reality rather than some sort of other sort of trickery or something. I've been able to fuck. They're targeted 60 frames per second. That boost in ray tracing is also delivering big wins for Hogwarts Legacy. And what, sorry? Boost in ray tracing is also delivering big wins for Hogwarts Legacy. Hog? Hog what? That boost in ray tracing is also delivering big wins for Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts. I it's the most powerful console we've ever built. What I hear, mate? Worthy addition to the PS5 family. Let me wrap this up by giving you a quick look at a number of games running on the new console. You'll never <laughs> Oh, that looks so much better. No way. Look at that. Close your eyes. It, it'll be worth it. Okay. So. Fuck. We're at the, we're at the uh, end now. By the looks of it. We're at the end. Got it in there.